not gossip if you heard it here. Get that glass ready. She's spilling all the juicy tea. It's the Lowdown with L'Oreal on the Morning Hustle. And it looks like yesterday, 10 people were shot outside of the Lickin' restaurant in Miami, which is a very popular restaurant out there. Um, so apparently, French Montana was sh- sh- shooting a video alongside Rob Fortnite. I never heard of him. Have you heard of him? Nah, I had to like look him up and see what I would know him from. And I guess he's, you know he just hasn't hit my radar yet. Okay, well, um, him. Uh, they're reporting that Rob Fortnite, as well as French Montana's bodyguard, was uh, shot on the scene on the set of the music video. Now, apparently, that bodyguard is in critical condition. So uh, no deaths have been reported just yet. But apparently, mid-video, somebody was robbed for a watch, their keys, and their wallet. So um, shortly after, it seemed as though the person that was robbed was trying to get a hold of his spare keys or something like that. And then they said gunshots rang out. There was a witness on the scene, and this is what he had to say. Call his mother and see if we can get a spare car keys and make sure that, you know, he's okay. And then the gunshots went off. And at least 13, 14, 15 gunshots. Sounded like an assault rifle. What I mean, did, What did you do? Oh, I took off running, and I was looking back, but I was like, you know what, let me just duck first. And apparently there's two other crime scenes. I don't know what that means because they also said this is an isolated incident. So um, they're still under investigation currently. And it's really weird because they're not not saying, like, just what happened with any of the victims. They're not saying who the victims are. Like, they're keeping a lot of things quiet. So I don't know if that's uh, things that they want to keep to kind of help with the case. But mm-hmm. they're not even sure if French Montana got, got shot. Like, they're literally not saying anything like we don't we don't know much of anything so all we know is that he had this video shoot and at that video shoot 10 people were shot after a person was robbed what is going on like this and and my thing is you got the chain or you got the watch why and 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 this reminds me of the pmb rock situation they got the stuff now you decide to shoot everybody it's ridiculous you already got the stuff these people, like, you know, a lot of these young wolves, man, don't got no code, no ethics. You know, they don't know how to move. They have no regard for life. And, you know, I just hate this energy, you know, just this young robbery culture, for real. And and one thing I will say, usually when you do hear about shots and stuff like that, it'll be like one person. But, like, whoever was doing the shooting was really aiming at people. Because if you think about it, thir- you heard 13 shots and 10 people were shot? Yeah. That's and pretty... Oh- and also, too, though, when you look at just, you know, it just seems like there's always something going on around French Montana. Not saying that he's directly involved, man, but, you, you know, like, he got to so? sage everything. Yeah, I mean, this, this just seems like, you know, Did over the I last few something? years. Yeah, it is. I mean, it seems like there's been a few incidents. Not, you know, whether he's, like, you know, directly involved or, like, it's people around him. You know what I'm saying? Like, for whatever reason, it just seems like it just attracts a really bad energy, some of this stuff. That's crazy. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't put that with French. Um, like the only I know, uh, at points in time he had issues with uh, different artists. Like I know him and Dipset. Like him and Jim Jones had issues when they was throwing the chairs. But this is that goes stems all the way back to to other things. But I don't. I, that's funny that you said that because I really don't look at French as being that type of person. No, funny he, as, he's not a problematic person, seemingly so, but it just seems like, you know, not necessarily, like I said, not necessarily directly to him, but just things around him sometimes just get a little cuckoo. And, you know, and this is probably just a plain cut and dry robbery. They just went a little crazy. And, you yeah, know, I think that's spraying, what it was. They was in the middle wild. of the hood. Miami Gardens is the hood. Like, you're in the middle of the hood. In Miami, and then that's the thing, too. I mean, well, they have security and bodyguards, but, like, people are starving out here. And to go do a video in the middle of the hood with all these chains and watches, and this is this is kind of what happens. If just the other day, French was in St. Bart's with Diddy on a yacht with Drake and, and uh, Quavo and everybody. You know what I mean? It was yeah. a total different situation. So to go from that to being in a hood, filming a video, like, look, you, you putting a lot of people, with danger to your bodyguard got shot. If, well, that's what's being reported. So hopefully everybody's okay. They didn't report any fatalities or 
whatever the case. So um, we want to keep everybody in our thoughts and prayers. Y'all be safe out there. Now it does seem like the most dangerous people to be around seem to be rappers at this point. It's giving. Like yeah, you can't be out here dripping when the streets is dry. You know what I mean? Because they they, they they gonna bring the wolves out. That's true. I'm L'Oreal. That's the lowdown. You can follow me at Star and L'Oreal, L-O-R-E-L, or Morning Hustle Show. We, we are the Morning Hustle.